Okay, so we're now going to do a um, the counting star exercise. Um, piece of paper, um, 65 by 60 uh, centimetres. We're going to do um, a 5-2 just for today. Um, however, there's many um, derivatives of that. So we could do a... Um, we could do a 7, we could do a 9, we could do 11, we could do 2s um, and 3s within that. Um, but I'm going to do a sort of a 5-2 to start with. So, uh, sheet up, we've got the students standing in front. And we ask them to first of all to do a, um, we'll do a circle with the 5 points so we don't draw it. So if we were doing something like 1, we'd ask them to do 2, round 3, 4, and five, so something along the line. So we've got a, a circle there with the five points. I'm hoping, yes, you can, you can, you can see that. We then ask the student with the left index finger to uh, to choose a, a point on there. So they choose the point there. And as I say, we're doing a five-two star just for the demonstration. And then following the left, we follow around and we ask them to count one, two, and then we swap and we draw it across. We then ask the student to carry on one, two. And again, we swap the points and draw through. We then carry on, one, two, swap the points. Carry on around, counting one, two with the right, swap the points. We then carry on through, counting one, two, swap the points and move it up. And what we should have at the finish is, as you can see, and I'll just bring it closer so that you can see, we should have a 5-2 triangle. So starting from the point with a 5, you can see it there. And as I say, there's many uh, derivatives of that that we can go through. We can do a 5-3, we can move it on to a 7-2, a 7-3, seven, seven, that would give us um, a lot of derivatives from the counting star exercise. Okay, so um, this next one is the right angle triangle. There are uh, four triangles in the series that the student works through in the session. So the first one I've got up here, which I'm going to just go through in a moment very briefly, just to uh, explain, is A. Uh, B, we've got on the reverse here. We've also got, so you can see, we've got C. And we've also got um, D as well. And the student um, works through the series of them and um, moves through by... Uh, their hand or feet or combination of both moving down through one, taking a pause, two, taking a pause, three, taking a pause, and then repeats that three times in that in the series. Um, the reason we take a pause, we just take a, a calming moment, and we do that by either putting the feet back onto the floor, excuse me, putting the feet back onto the floor, or indeed by um, putting the hands. Uh, back onto the um, palm of the hand. So I'm just reattaching that up there. Hopefully it'll, it'll stay for us. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna work through um, a the whole series of the four takes of the student. Oh my goodness, excuse me, a second. Oh, let's do it now. I'll just do this back up. It's been rolled up from school, so it's not very happy about going up on my wall. So. The full series takes about 12 minutes, as I say, for all four. And I'm just going to briefly sort of go through now and work through the, the whole. So um, just got my book here to make sure I'm doing this right. So we've got the both feet starting off, both feet together. And we would work through as such. So the feet goes up together and we'd go down one, back. Across two, back. Three, back. And that would be classed as... Uh, one cycle, but we take a pause and we want to move through each of those three times. So we will do that again. One, pause, two, pause, three, pause, and then we would go through for the last time. One, two, and three. And that would be the first cycle on A, before we moved on to that next one. The next one on this cycle would be the right foot only. So just put that again. So we're back again. We go through one, pause, two, pause, three, pause. One pause. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
a stronger blue Do it again. One pause, two pause, three pause. Going through again. One pause, two pause, three pause. Now we'd move all the way through. The series is about nine uh, currently in the series. So we go through both feet together, right foot, right hand, goes all the way through to number seven. And if I just probably should show you an example so you've got the idea for number seven. Moving through, just to get there. So number seven, we're sitting, laps, seven, one pause, two pause. Oh dear, I apologize for the blue tack. Three pause, sorry, one pause, two pause, three pause, one pause, two pause, and three pause. So we're moving through three times on that one there. Next one would be through, so number eight, for example, would be the right hand and the right eye. And we can do that either by closing manually or we can put it over the left eye. So we can go one pause, two pause, three pause. One pause, two pause, three pause, one pause, two pause, three pause. As I say, we would work all the way through that, the whole series of all four of them. So we've got the one, the A, the B, the C, and the D. It takes around about um, 12 minutes along. So that there, as you saw, took about, will take about three minutes for each one, adding up to 12 minutes long. Okay, our uh, next one is our uh, copper ball floor exercises, and today I'm just going to use um, three of uh, three of my tennis balls that I use. Uh, so again, this is a floor exercise for the student or the child. We're lying on our backs, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our one. I'm going to put it between their feet. And I'm going to ask them to straighten out their legs. So this one, they're lying on their back. They've got the ball between the feet like that out in front, and they're going to lie back and they're going to relax. This is the best angle, I might move in a moment, but best angle. So we've got the balls in our hand, and we're lying down by the side. Okay, we're lying back. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift our head, we're going to follow the ball up as it comes up, comes all the way up until it's up. We're then going to turn the hand, and we're going to walk it all the way back until we're resting. We're going to lift the head, we're going to watch the next one come up, Till the top, we're going to turn and we're going to watch it go back all the way. Moving our heads back up, we're going to let it come up all the way to the top and turn and down. And the last one with the left side, we're going to let the ball come up, following, turn and down. And that's the first phase that we would go through it. And we've still got, oh, you can see it, oh, I've dropped it. <laughs> at the first phase, and we've still got the ball, let me pick it up for you, the between our feet. Uh, moving on to the second phase, so the second phase, again, we're going to have the two balls in our hands. This time we're going to close our eyes. The pattern is still the same. Excuse me, just going to pull this down. Our pattern is still the same, so we've got our balls in our hands, lying next to our side, close our eyes, but this time what we're going to do is the balls will come up to the top, turn at the top, and all the way back down. Coming back up, turn at the top, and all the way back through. And we'll go through that once more. Eyes closed, ball coming up, turn at the top and back down. All the way up, turn at the top and all the way back down. So that's the second one that we would do. The third one that we would do is just an alternate. So I'm gonna do that one for you. I'll close my eyes, so we we'll start again. Ball in the position, ball is still between my feet. And we're gonna start off, ball's down by the side. And the first one, we're going to lift this up, eyes closed, all the way, turn, until the balls are now opposite to each other. So keeping the eyes closed, what we're going to do now is up we come, turn, and down. Keeping it going, back up we come, turn, and down. We'll do that a couple of times more. All the way up, turn, and down. Last one, all the way up, turn, 
and down. And that's the full cycle that we would go through with our three, two, three copper balls. Okay, this next one is our crosswalk exercise. So for this one, we're up off the floor, we're getting the student to stand up uh, nice and straight. Uh, so we have the hands and we're gonna clench that right fist and we're gonna put it into the small of our back. We're then gonna clench our left fist, but we're gonna have our finger pointing. And what we're gonna do again is we're gonna work in a crosswalk movement. So as the right leg comes up, we're gonna point with the left. Move it around and as the left comes, we're going to point with the right and we're going to move and you'll see our head moving as we do so, pointing and looking to where we're going as the student moves around. There's three modes that we can do this in. We can do this in a uh, well, normal mode, we can do it in a slow mode, we can do it in a quick mode, but we can also do it in a slow motion mode as well with a high raise. So a number of different ways we can do that. And again, we're going to go for about five minutes with the student. So I'm going to go out and do it now. Okay, so we've got that in the small of the back. Finger pointing, let's walk around the room and I'll go different ways so you can see it. Oop, going away. Move it around to the opposite. Looking where I'm going. Into the small of my back. And back along. So we can go into slow motion mode, really high kicks, working it really high. That's it. Okay, so the next exercise we're going to do is the cross crawl. Uh, again, this is a floor exercise, so we have the student um, down on all fours again, and um, they're starting in that again all fours position on the floor, and they're going to move across the room, but this time they're going to move, and they're going to move at the same time as that they move their right hand, they're going to move their left knee, so it's a cross pattern, and they'll follow that up by moving the left arm and the right knee, so just like so, we're going to start with the right, oh, another thing to mention is uh, we keep our um, toes down, so we're actually dragging those toes across the floor, so I'll do it from a, a couple of positions, so you can sort of see it, so the first one moving across, moving across, so you've got the right moving with the left, the left moving with the right, right moving with the left. If I move it from this side, see it coming across. So again, we start off, we've got the right moving with the left, left and the right, right and the left, left and the right, and you'll probably see me dragging my feet there behind. So student would move around the room with that and um, roughly about five minutes. So again, we've got that cross coordination going on. Okay, so um, this is the next exercise. Uh, this one, uh, again, is a floor exercise, and this one's called cross crawl. So we have the, um, the child or the student on the floor, and we're going to make them move across the room. I'll do it from a couple of angles, so you can sort of see it. I'll come towards you first. So we start on all fours, and because it's cross crawl, what we're going to do is we're going to move the right arm in combination with the left knee. So the right... Too loud, guys! So the next exercise is the flying fox. Um, this is a floor exercise uh, on all fours and another one that's good for our ATNR. And in this one, so as I say, we're on all fours. So and the best way is to, I'm just going to do it as I talk through it. So we're on all fours and we're going to start on the right hand side and we're going to lift up and we're going to hold the balance. Right arm, right leg out straight and I'm looking towards that right arm as I do so, holding that. And then as I come down, slowly moving across, and I'm going to move across and do the same with the left. And again, I'm holding that balance in place, trying to look towards that left arm and holding it. And then as I come down, and we've done the same side there, we're going to move on and we're going to do right arm and left leg. I'm in the back of it. So right arm, left leg. Really holding that straight out and holding that in place together. And then lastly, we're moving out with the left arm and the right leg. And that's the full exercise.